beautiful. Oh, and we're here. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tea with Memories and Friends. Today I am joined by my good friend, Bronwyn. Hello. We went to school together, so we actually went to Orange High, and our favourite class together was, well, my favourite class together was art, um, and we love reminiscing especially about the Year 12 art excursion, which was a lot of fun, and we ate a lot of amazing fried rice amazing fried it rice. was really good it was a messy event it was, messy. <laughs> it was definitely messy so we are doing this live video today while we are waiting for our milk to come to temperature so we can make some cheese afterwards and we are drinking out of some of our favorite mugs here at Bronwyn's and we are drinking a strain daintry today so uh, that is our tea to keep in memory as we keep talking so, Bron, dun, dun, dun. I know you had a little bit of trouble with this first question, yes. but yes. what was your earliest memory of tea? Oh, it's definitely got to be with my grandma. She was one of those very busy women who would just keep cooking, no matter what. She'd just be yeah. peeling potatoes, peeling carrots, oh, cooking. chopping up onions, doing something, but there was always time to steep the tea. Yeah. It was always time, whether it was tea bags or just ripping the tea bags open to put in the, in the pot. pot. <laughs> Which made no sense to me at the time because I was like big enough to still fit in the sink. Yes. It's a long time ago. It it's was. a very long time ago. But she would always have the nice pot with the little um, sieve yep. thing, that thing, um, <laughs> just to make sure that no leaves went into the tea yes. for some reason. That's, yep. that's kind of, yeah, my earliest memory would have to be on the sink, yes. in the sink, while she's making up the <laughs> pot of tea. So I must have been like that big. What a lovely memory. Mm, mm, definitely. That's really cool. Mm. <laughs> so my next question, which I usually ask, is what is the most vivid memory you have of tea? Is that... Oh, the most vivid. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Would have to be probably coming back from school, visiting my grandma once again. Definitely my yeah. grandma has a huge part to play. Um, we'd have some of the niece biscuits. To dunk because it was the best thing ever after yes. school. Yeah. Mm, fantastic. <laughs> Are they Arnott's Nick's nice yes. biscuits? It's yes. got to be the Arnott's. The Arnott's. Arnott's. Only Arnott's. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else equivalent. Definitely not. <laughs> and just waiting for otherwise, yeah, once again, the dinner, peeling the carrots, peeling the potatoes. Yeah. And yeah. Mm, it was So it always... sounds like you had a lot of raw and fresh ingredients to cook with as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. My grandma was definitely one of those women that just kept on. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And so she drank black tea? Um, no, she was, she was a, well, yes, but with milk. It always had always to have had milk. Always had to be with milk. Had to be with milk. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Very good. So the next question is, did your same grandmother introduce you to tea? Or was there someone else in mm. there in the background? Ooh, we're wobbling. Ooh. <laughs> um, so she was the definitely first interaction with tea, definitely the first. Yep. And then after that, I think I was reintroduced when my mum, who's a coffee drinker. Yes. <laughs> no time for that. No um, she would just accumulate different flavoured teas. Like it would just be like nice little loose leaf pots. And she'd be yep. like, oh, that's nice. I'll, I'll try that one day. Never happened. Still in the cupboard. Yeah, still, still in, the in the cupboard. So I'm like, oh, actually, I might, I yeah. might try some of that instead. Does anyone else have a tea cupboard like that? I know I have a tea cupboard full, very full. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was um, reintroducing myself in. I didn't know how to make tea. It was one of those very definitely learning curve. Mm -hmm. um, ended up putting milk in flavored, not black teas, and it curdled. <laughs> And I'm, mmm, I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh. Oh, no, you no. can't drink a curdled tea. No. I regretted it. I regretted yeah. it. Yeah. So I it won't be I taking, learned. it won't be making a comeback in the next trending drink, not like a broccoli latte or, oh. or something oh. like Pass. that. Pass. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So the tea we are talking to about today is the Australian Daintree. So what is it about the Australian Daintree that you love so much? Mm, it's just hearty, robust. One of those teas that doesn't matter the time of day because of the low tannin, low caffeine thing. Yeah. It just means that I can have it 24-7 at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes. I need a cup of tea. I've, yeah. I've been up too long. Mm. Yeah. And bedtime. And bedtime. Mm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Definitely. It's my favourite go-to tea. <laughs> 
When I first told Bron that I was starting a tea company because we had reconnected over tea, yes, <laughs> the Estonian Daintree was one that Bronwyn said that I must have. It was a must have tea on my tea list. So after going through a few different stockists and a few different suppliers, we and a few different trials, we now have the Australian Daintree that we sell. Yes. And it is one of our most popular. It is up there with the Fire Chai mm, and yes. the, the Grenfee. So yes. And I definitely really buy in bulk. Yep. Definitely. Every <laughs> time. So you believe that the Australian Daintree embodies who you are in your daily life? Oh, it does extensively. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot that I'll not do. And there's not a lot that this tea won't do either. You can have it however you want. And it is flexible. I like yeah. to think I'm a flexible person yeah. too. Yeah, mm. that's good. Yeah. It's it's one of those teas that I just keep coming back to. It doesn't yes. matter what happens. I yeah. keep coming back to it. Yeah. Mm. And you mentioned earlier that your grandmother needed tea. Mm. Uh, needed tea and needed milk. And that you first started drinking tea with milk. Yeah. Do you still drink all teas with milk? Definitely not the greens. Not the greens. Learn a lesson. <laughs> Learn a lesson. Good. <laughs> um, yes, I do still drink a lot of milk with my tea. I find it definitely sort of helps if I've forgotten breakfast, cup of tea, done. And then you've, you're right for however many hours after yeah. that. Um, I have had it without tea, without the milk, yeah. and found that mm, mm, I still prefer it with milk. Yeah. Mm. Is it the creaminess and mm, sort of that yes. comfort factor that yes. you find these in milk? Definitely the comfort yeah. factor. Mm. And does the milk make you think, well, I've just had my breakfast cereal? It does. Yeah. It does. There have been mornings, <laughs> there have been quite a few mornings where I just kind of go, that'll do. All right. Off to work. Off to work. Mm. Off we go. Mm -hmm. That's Ready good. to go. That's good. Do you have a favourite activity that you do or you find yourself doing when you're drinking tea? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Usually thinking about the day ahead going, okay, what do I have to do next? It's definitely therapeutic in the way that it relaxes me and kind of plans my day yeah. around the tea. Yeah. Works out well. And while you're making cheese. While I'm making cheese. While we're making definitely cheese. Definitely making the cheese. <laughs> Gives you that zen. Good. Mm. So it's very comforting. It's yeah. very relaxing. Yeah. Have you ever used tea as an icebreaker at a party? Oh, definitely. definitely. You have? Definitely. Oh, wonderful. We've met someone who has. <laughs> um, it, it kind of comes across as, it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Bam. Conversation started. started. You're like, oh, actually, yes, I would like it. How do you like yeah. it? How do you like it? Yeah. Milk, sugars, whatever you, however yeah. you take it, yeah. it ends up being one of those... Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Could have had the worst day ever. Yeah. Could have, like, someone could have died. Something could be absolutely horrible. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Yeah. And in previous episodes, mm. we have discussed that tea is a very safe icebreaker yes. at a party. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So if you ran out of your Australian Daintree, heaven forbid, I know Bron puts an order nearly a month mm -hmm. in advance mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. <laughs> before yep. even looking yep. like she's running out. But if you were to run out, do you have a contingency plan mm. or a backup? It depends on the time of day. It depends on the time of day. So yep. if it is early enough that I can have a full strength, like hearty tea, it'd yep. be <laughs> probably the creme brulee, which you also stock. I yes. yes. love that tea. Yep. Yeah. But if it's after four o'clock in the afternoon, I'll probably go more to the Ruibus. Ah, mm. the South African mm -hmm. tea plant, mm -hmm. which is low in caffeine. Well, no yes. caffeine, no actually. Caffeine, yes. It's a very yeah. caramely, warm, like, mm, yummy. With milk as well. Yes. With milk. 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 Mm. With your Ruibus? Mm. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I'm strange. I'm strange. I have it's never caramely. had milk with Ruibus. I should try that. Mm. Mm. Yes. It's yes. a good time. <laughs> Bronwyn was actually on my control panel for my creme brulee tea when I was trying to get the right combination going. So we had lots of cups of tea Definitely. over that discussion. Definitely. Yes, mm. yes. Well, thank you, Bronwyn, for coming so on our Facebook Live for Tea with Memories and Friends. It has been absolutely fantastic to catch up. And it has been. I am so glad that we've both been able to reconnect over tea. Definitely. 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 Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until next week. Remember, where there is tea, there is time. <laughs>